everybody, I am back with the daily puzzle for advanced challenge. So without further ado, let's look at the puzzle from last video. So this is once again an only move position. If white doesn't find this move, he's completely lost. So this is white to play in checkmate in seven. So let's see how we can do this. Once again, another queen sacrifice. So before we look at this, is there any other checks that white has? Well, to be honest, queen g7 is the only check, and seemingly the only good move. And we're about to find out why. So after queen g7, well, that only gives black one option, right? Rook takes queen. Now, basically the whole line is completely forced. Next, white plays h takes g7. And this is very important, and we're about to see why. The problem with f takes g7 is, after king g8, black is just winning, because of this, this h file is very crucial in solving this position, and that's why f takes is not good, and h takes is winning. And once again, h takes g7 is an only move, or white's just lost. So, like I was saying, after f takes g7, the problem is, this h file will be closed. Now, we have the ability to play... Bishop takes h7. Is there any other good moves like threatening checkmate? Well, not really, because queen g4 check, and we're going to be checkmated before we know it. And that's not what we want. Okay, so bishop takes h7. Only move once again. No, only move king takes h7. Rook h1, check. Seems fair enough. Any other good moves or good checks? Well, g8 queen is just pointless. Because that's a free queen. So, now, black has two options. King g8 and king g6. So what happens after king g8? If king g8, then we have rook to h8, checkmate, and white wins the game. So what if king g6? Now this is the main line. After king g6, we simply have g8 equals queen. King f5 and queen g5 is checkmate. King f6 is the same story with queen g5 mate. Now in this position, after king g6, fun fact is, you can still win by checkmate promoting to rook. And we're about to find out why. So, if king takes f6, then white has bishop to g5, and after king to f5, rook to f1, and after knight f3, rook takes f3. If king e5, bishop f6, and if king g4, simply rook f4, king h5, and rook h4. And if king f5, then he has once again rook g5, king takes f6, knight to e4 check, knight takes e4, rook to f1, knight f2. At this point, blocks is throwing his pieces in the way, and then it's checkmate. And obviously this line is really pointless, but it's just a fun fact that it's always good to know that sometimes under promotion is also a very good way of winning the game. But anyways... That is just a side fact. Anyways, let's look at the puzzle for today. This is block to play and checkmate in six moves. Good luck solving the puzzle, my friends. And if you're enjoying my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button. Till the next video, bye bye, everybody.